Hello, I'm Phelan Whitaker, and I'm co-owner of Whitaker Farms. Me and my husband started it in 1975. We now have three generations here, and I'm going to let Kelly introduce her and her daughter. I'm Kelly Whitaker. I'm Phelan's daughter-in-law, and this is my daughter, Peyton Whitaker. I was from the city, and me and my husband were high school sweethearts, and he came from a farm and swore he would never farm. After a year, two years of not farming, we uh, started on 10 acres of rented land with a 140 tractor and a used tobacco setter. And today we farm a little over a thousand acres. My favorite part is getting to work with my family every day. I'll get teary-eyed here. <laughs> it sort of started as a hobby and we have now outgrew our hobby. Because <laughs> we both laugh at that. And so we do greenhouse tomatoes, so we now do those year round. So we have produce year round. We're now open year round. And then Kelly decided we would have a new building. <laughs> and <I'll let> her <laughs> do a bakery. <laughs> Which that's been failing stream for a while to do the bakery. So um, when COVID hit in 2020, we saw um, our canned good sales and produce sales really kind of skyrocket because folks didn't want to go to the grocery store. And so um, that kind of got us to thinking about what could we add on here to kind of drive that market a little more. And so we, we added on a new building, we added a bakery in it. Um, we've got lots of other produce from other farms that we don't grow, like we don't grow peaches and grapes and things like that. So we'll buy that in from local farmers um, and along with our own strawberries and tomatoes and um, melons and peppers and that kind of thing. So we do school tours spring and fall. We do festivals and she's handled all of that. We have great employees though. We could not do it without our employees. They are wonderful. We could never thank them for all they do. We took a little dream and it's became a big dream. 